Well, welcome back to Cavs HQ, driven by Ganley Auto, Mike Snyder, Scott Cirilla, and the voice of the Cleveland Monsters, Tony Brown with us. And we've had some fun with Tony looking back at the Calder Cup champion year, the connection with the Blue Jackets. And, and Scott, now we're now we're going to get serious about things here, right? We're going to get real serious because, okay. Tony, as you are the local hockey expert, we're going to find just how much of an expert you are. I'm extremely nervous for this next segment. Let's go. Let's All see right. what's going now, on. Now, what here. I've done with players in the past, we call them five fast ones. Sure. Just five quick questions, and you just – I'm going to say it. You tell me what it means or your first response to sure. it. I would love to give you 60 seconds, but we here at Cavs HQ only can afford a 37-second clock. Okay. So it will start when I ask the first question. Got it. Okay. Ready? These are all fast five hockey terms. Okay. Here we go. Tony, are you ready? Couldn't be more ready, Scott. Start the clock. Top cheese. Top cheese, top shelf. High shot just under the crossbar. Looks looks close enough. A, Very good. A duster. A duster is a player of dubious skill level. Yes, bad at hockey. Yeah. A Gino. Gino would be Evgeny Malkin's nickname. Uh, that is uh, at least a pop culture hockey reference. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Well, I have otherwise. it as a goal scored. Well, that, that would be maybe an archaic reference, the kids these okay. days. Uh, uh, how about bar down? Bar down would be a little shot off the crossbar and down into the net. Very good. And a hoser? <laughs> a Canadian term for uh, somebody who can take a hike. Yes, a loser yeah. and usually used within the uh, uh, realm of trash talk. Right, exactly. So, yes, I, w- I will accept those. Mike, would you accept I, even I think the Tony Gino? did well. In fact, I think he turned it on you, uh, Z-Man, archaic. It was, it was, the Gino was well, archaic. I mean, I haven't heard that in a long time. I'll be honest with you. Well, Gino, I'm a lot course, older than you. So, yeah. Evgeny Malkin, though, he's I, one I, of the great stars of the NHL, and he goes by yeah. Gino. I thought you were uh, Fair, fair enough. No, like I said, that's what makes you the expert. That's you right. corrected me. So he did well, those guys. Oh, he did. Oh, right. I got I to give him a five for five. Oh, yeah. Thank sure. you. Five for five. Well Ooh, done. Well done. All right. All right. You got now. more. Don't. Right. Tony, right. there's Hold more down. to come right. here. There's Hold more to down. come. <laughs> okay. Because we are going now to play a, a new game. This is a Cavs HQ special. And it's we've done it just for you. <laughs> We're debuting yeah, That's it. how much we value you joining us today. Wow. Okay. European hockey player or unfortunate <laughs> disease. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. So All here right. we go. See, usually here we I have go. a big game notes packet here, so I'm a little disoriented. I don't have the pronunciation guide in front of me right now, but we'll do our best. Well, I don't either, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, wait till you hear us so, try so to... We, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. If we butcher some names, but, which we will. but I know which ones are one or the other. <laughs> okay. All right, our first one... Boy, oh boy, I, I drew this one, Z-Man. How'd you let me go first on Because you one? said you would go first. Oh, I did. All right, Toivo Teravainen. Tuvo Teravine, a former uh, Blackhawks prospect with Carolina right now, highly touted young Finnish centerman. All right, he's a player. Boy, See, I, I butchered that one there. These are so bad, I've got to, okay. I've got to go to the glasses. <laughs> Abruzzo Erickson. Uh, I, I can't recall that name. I'm going to go with uh, unfortunate ailment. That is a disease causing a cleft palate. Well done. <laughs> Very well done. Tony is just, you know, he's like that goaltender we got down there. All right, Rasmus Ristolainen. That is a hockey player. Uh, I believe uh, defenseman, Ristolainen, Rasmus Ristolainen. Okay, uh, Euro hockey player. I'm for Buffalo. two and sure. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm having a great night. <laughs> Nikita Kucherov. Oh, that's a, that's a player for certain. Yeah. Tampa Bay Lightning. Indeed. You are One rolling along young, nicely. Uh, goal scorers. Bantu Sidorusis. That is an unfortunate ailment because it's not a hockey player. <laughs> mm, that's something I've never said before to that very second, Tony. <laughs> that is. And a, you're right. That is an iron overload yes. in the body. Just something to, just a, you can learn okay. from it on this show. All, All right. My turn? Yeah. Oh, boy. Evgeny Malkin. That would be Gino himself, C-Man, from oh, our last see. little game. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You're our for the, for, the, for the pit. <laughs> <laughs> for the pit penguins very good jeez uh, how did i draw the order here oh i can do this one okay you want to do it interstitial cystitis how about that very Come good well, that, that is not it. a european hockey <laughs> cystitis can, he's not that no. is I a, thought maybe there he have was, been some good itises over the years darius casparitis yes i remember right? i remember yeah. him uh, that uh, by what the way is that scott darius casparitis no cystitis <laughs> the inner uh though that is an unfortunate bladder disease okay. i see all right yeah, not a player yeah. Semyon varlamov Semyon Varlamov is the uh, Russian netminder for uh, former Monsters head coach Jared Bednar in the Colorado Avalanche. Boy, and I said it right. Yeah. You did. You ran that thing All off right, nicely. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Um, Evgeny Kuznetsov. That is a hockey player as well. 
for Washington. Indeed. Well, you just ran the table. And I got to say, before we give <laughs> yeah. you too much credit, I thought you and I were awesome just pronouncing these you guys did ungodly well. difficult words. We did okay, yeah. I Actually, thought we, we were did, good. I think we did Lots better with consonants. the illnesses than we yeah. did some of the players, though. And but, the crazy thing is, is impressive. Yeah. one of those words is hard enough. You got to put two of them together and make it sound like you know what you're talking about. I thought we were good tonight. Nice. You guys right. did great. Yeah, I had well, to think you, about a couple you of those. You were just awesome. <laughs> Tony Brown with Thanks, us, the guys. voice of the Monsters. Tony, just uh, I guess give us an idea. Who do you think are the top teams, NHL and Calder Cup, right now? Well, you know, I think it's in the AHL, it's always really early uh, to tell. You have to get into March, April before you really know the contenders because a lot depends on which team's NHL affiliates are in the playoffs. So last year, for instance, Columbus out of the playoffs. The Monsters didn't lose any of their top players at the end of the year and were able to go on this great run. Um, so teams that have, uh, I, you know, NHL teams that are out of the playoffs usually have an advantage in the Calder Cup playoffs. So Grand Rapids, I think, is one of those teams, as much as it pains me to say that, that I think uh, could be really good this year because Detroit, for the first time in a quarter century, looks like they might miss the playoffs. Wow. So uh, Grand Rapids is a, a stacked team. They're, they're one of the top teams in the AHL right now. And if they're getting reinforcements from NHL Detroit come the end of the season, they're going to be dangerous in the playoffs. The NHL side, uh, you know, I think the Blue Jackets have to be Let's in the conversation. They're at the top of uh, the standings right now. Uh, many surprising teams, some usual suspects there as well. Uh, Minnesota Wild had a 12-game winning streak ended by Columbus of their own. So those two teams that came into the league at the same time are having a, a great year, but also, you know, the defending champions there in Pittsburgh. Uh, Montreal's got a strong team. The Rangers have a strong team amongst many others, particularly in the Eastern Conference this year. Uh, you know, there's going to be several teams in the mix as usual. Tony, before we let you go, upcoming special nights for the Monsters at the Q. Well, lots of great ones coming up, and the crowds have been phenomenal, as they usually are once we get through the new year. But the big one is the 28th. That's a Saturday night against uh, Chicago. It's our Indians tribute night. It's going to be awesome. I don't know if you guys saw the jerseys, uh, but an authentic take on the Cleveland Indians on-field uh, uniform. Sweet. Going to be worn by the Monsters. It's presented by our friends at Car Parts Warehouse, and it's going to be a great night. Uh, we're going to have appearances from Slider, from the Hot Dogs, from John Adams, the, the Indians oh, drummer. Yeah, Good. Perhaps yeah, even yeah. some players. I don't know. Some Indians alums going to be signing autographs. It's going to be awesome. Tickets as always, 216-420-0000, clevelandmonsters.com or any Northern Ohio discount drug mart and i would say act fast folks because we're looking at uh, a what, big big crowd that what's night. that date again it's the 28th of january okay. and it's going to be uh against a really good chicago wolves team that uh it's really come on this season and indians tribute night one last chance good to stuff. look back yeah. at the american league pennant winners yeah. and and appreciate a season for all time in cleveland what yeah. a great dynamic going on right here you know yeah. between the queue progressive yeah. field man it's a good time right now and baseball isn't so far away either it's, <laughs> it's coming fast seems like it never is pitchers is and catchers will be reporting <laughs> tony brown thank you for being with us continue keep up the good work and thanks for playing along with us today oh thank you guys absolute blast uh, really appreciate being here and I'll have to come back again and give another uh, uh, whirl with the uh, with the game. Well, you're already a big say. winner, but you get no prizes. Okay, well, yeah. fair enough. Can we, I take, we can only I take have this enough, There's only enough bank, prizes to give away to me, and I got that already. So. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll try to be more fair current enough. and not have archaic <laughs> lingo for, you know, show our time. Hey, thanks, Tony. Thanks, guys. Tony Brown, as uh, we continue, it's Cavs HQ on Fox Sports Ohio, and we'll be right back after this break on the El Canal Cleveland Cavaliers NBA Champion Radio Network.